Hi, the topic today is Cisco's iOS file name. Look at this great big file name we have here. Now that is what your operating system on your Cisco device is going to be called, something like that. Um, so what I wanted to do is break down the section so we can go through what each of these um, pieces of text represent. So let's start over here in the yellow. We've got the C1900. What that first section is referring to is the type of hardware that this particular file, this particular operating system, is going to reside on. So for example, this C1900 is going to sit on a Cisco 1900 router. That's it. So in green here, now this portion is talking about the image designation. So for example, this, this one is, um, is designated to have strong encryption. There are certain countries that don't allow strong encryption, so that might deter this iOS from running on. Now this M and the Z look like they're together, but they do represent two different things. The M represents where this image is gonna be stored. M stands for RAM. And the Z represents the, in, the compression. So Z stands for Z. Next up in gray, we have SPA. The SPA refers to the digital signature. So it's saying that it's signed by Cisco. Um, next we have uh, what looks like 152, but really those are two separate numbers. It's 15 and then two. The 15 in red represents the major release. So this iOS version is from release 15. Um, the previous release would have been 12. The two stands for the minor release. So that's just like a subcategory. And then in green, you'll see the four, which stands for the maintenance release. So if there's any new features that have been added, and then the capital M here in Cyan, different than this M here, the capital M there is the extended maintenance release. And then the three is referring to the maintenance rebuild. And finally, that dot bin at the end, that's just your file extension saying that this is in fact a binary file.